Thanks for viewing. It's KN4YB, Thomas DeVoe, with a new updated model. The SL170 inline, Sugar Lima 170, India, November. Inline for obviously it's not a right angle, it's a standard key. And this replaces uh, the uh, little key that I produced a couple of years ago. That was a single spring, uh, solid arm, and we're we're going to retire that model key. Now the first thing you notice on this particular key that is the top parts are nickel plated. Uh, I choose nickel because it has less of an environmental impact. I actually make the solution here in house. I do all the plating in house. This is my work along with the fabrication of the uh, the entire base and the parts that you see on top and the finger pieces. I buy nothing out except for the bearings and the springs. And the one thing I like about nickel personally is that it's not as reflective and not as harsh on the eyes as chrome might be to some. I remember we went to a uh, Harley Davidson dealership with a friend of mine and I walked in and I just my eyes got attacked with all the chrome on the bikes that it was really hard on my eyes so yeah, nickel's easy to do it's a one-step process rather than multi where you have to strike a copper on steel of course brass would be the same but uh, and again uh, chrome and silver and gold uses cyanide in the solution and I'd rather not want to get into playing with that kind of stuff so I make the solution in vinegar, the old-fashioned way. Another, another update with the key is that I upsized the bearing. The bearing is now F688. It has a 8mm center holes, inner diameter. It's the same diameter as 516. It's very close, a couple thousandths difference. And it's the same material that I use for the post. So that what's inside between the bearings is the post material that I use. Very stable. I also upsized the feet. The feet are much larger than the little ones I've been using for the smaller keys. And it sits a little higher. Another, another feature that is now available on all my bug keys is the anti-chatter control. And right now it's off. And then as you swing this arm, the arm ramps up on the tab here that I left the spring a little extra long after the contact. And you can ha you can adjust as you're using the key to eliminate any chatter that you may have in the key. So I'm going to give you a demonstration of speed here with the extension arm. I'm going to go to the extreme speed here. This also swings out. So I'll take the arm off. All my bug keys come with two weights. So we'll give the extreme speed here with one weight. Okay. Now we'll bring the weight up to... And now I'll add a weight on. I'll leave a little extra length on the uh, keys. Now, most slightly snug this down. And you can still move as you adjust. Now I'm going to give a demonstration of how the influence of this little. And you notice that it starts to get tight. You can bring in. If you go too far, you'll diminish the length of, this, of your dit string. You can back off, and that's too much. There's a lot of adjustment between the speeds of your weight and this little guy here. Now, let me give a demo of with the extension. We're going to give. Here's with the extension alone. You can actually back the extension up. The way of the rod adds in. So we'll bring out. 
one weight on the end. Now we're getting down past 18, down into the teens. We'll put two weights. There you go. There's about maybe 13. And if you go to extremes at the weight with two weights, So, there's a demonstration of speed, your speed ranges in the key. All the keys come with the extension and two weights. I pretty much operate here. I'm not a speed demon, that's why I may start making these bugs. Alright, I'll give you a close up of the work that I do with the the nickel plating. All the keys will have nickel plate uh, from here on uh, unless you specify raw brass. If you specify raw brass uh, I could do that. Some people like the, the patina that brass shows after some time. Um, also this key will come standard with the blue paddles but you can ask for black or I am coming out with red clear green there's a key sl85 sugar lima 85 it's a little key for uh, electronic keying and doubles for cootie it has a, a glass edge green you can look that up on the videos that i uh, posted here so i'm very excited uh plans to have a right angle model with this configuration a right angle uh, key that i uh my first original model uh, is a right angle with this uh, 2x5 format and I'm looking to retire that key with this type of arrangement here where it's a single lever that will peer out of here or an arm will peer out and again everything that I've been, I'm going to be making is the nickel plating. So I think I covered it all, I didn't want to make the video too long. Um, Inquire, uh, KM4YB, I'm good on QRZ, KM4YB.com. Uh, right now the site needs to be updated with the new keys models. And I'm waiting for everything to be uh, collected up because I'm coming out with a couple more models. So when I get that done, then I'll update the site. I really appreciate the support given um, beyond my expectations of how this is uh, come about and I wish you all the best in the COVID pandemic uh, we'll get, all get through this and uh, I wish you all the best so 73 came for YB